Hello, Craig Smith of the Home Education Foundation in Palmerston North, New Zealand. We're talking about how we as parents can educate our children at home. We don't have to send them to some institution to have them educated. They'll get schooled at the institution, but at home we can truly educate them in all the basics, all the academics as well as all the social life and all the spiritual uh, truths and, and help them to walk the way they should walk. So when we launch them out of our home, they are fully equipped and mature, ready to go. We can do it at home, and we can do a superior job. This has been demonstrated over and over again. The, we here at the Home Education Foundation have endeavored to gather together some books that will help you to do this. In New Zealand, uh, in order to educate your children at home legally, um, you have to get an exemption from the Ministry of Education. The Ministry of Education, of course, uh, administers the Education Act, which requires all children from the time they turn six until they turn 16 are required to two things, to be enrolled at and attend a registered school. So, it's interesting to note that in New Zealand, children are not required by law to be educated. They are required only to do their time in an institution a registered school it's called and these registered schools go from one end of the scale to the other end of the scale when it comes to standards uh, <laughs> some of these registered schools attendance is voluntary if little Johnny decides to turn up the teacher goes well Johnny it's so good to see you well hi Jim none of this teacher business or sir hi Jim yeah, I thought I'd come today. Well, Johnny, what would you like to do today? Well, Jim, I'd like to sit on those bean bags over there and watch some videos. Well, Jim will say to Johnny, there's the bean bags, there's the videos. We'll see you at lunchtime. And that's how it's like. <laughs> it's really, the children can determine their, their own program for themselves and they'll determine whether they learn and whether they're going to learn by watching videos or playing games or whatever. It's a completely a uh, democratic type learning, voluntary. Now that one I just described is uh, what goes on at Discovery One in Christchurch. It's a government school, totally alternative. I was describing this once to a, a, a homeschooling mom on the phone and she laughed and I said, oh, you don't believe me? She says, no, I believe you all right. You perfectly described the school I went to, she said. <laughs> so... Um, that was very interesting to note that I wasn't being a bit uh, a bit uh, offline there. I was describing it just exactly I was thought I was describing it exactly the way the website described it. Anyway, so when we need to um, uh, come to um, apply for an exemption in New Zealand, this book could be very very helpful because often people get that exemption form from the the Ministry of Education and they feel like they're just thrown by it. It's not no need to be thrown by it. It does look a bit complicated. It's poorly written. And I think it's written poorly in order to put you off so that you'll give up. Because there's only three people I've ever discovered who never get their exemptions in New Zealand. Three people. The number of first group is those who give up and stop trying. The second group are those who, in filling out the exemption, they prove themselves to be incompetent. And the third group are those who, for whatever reason, some terrible skeletons fall out of the closet. Well, those are the only groups I've ever known who do not get their exemptions. Otherwise, if you follow the advice here, you will get your exemption. Thank you.